Okay, we can classify carbon atoms um, based on how many other carbon atoms they're bonded to. And this kind of relates to that last problem where we're looking at how many hydrogens are on each of these. So we have uh, four terms that we use, primary, secondary, tertiary, and quaternary. So we say a carbon is a primary carbon if it's only bonded to one other carbon atom. So in, in ethane here, we have one carbon bonded to another carbon. There's only two carbons in this molecule. Both of these are primary carbons. They're only bonded to one other. And the abbreviation for this is the number one with a degree symbol. So that kind of looks like one degree Celsius, but what we mean is primary carbon. A, it's a secondary carbon if it's bonded to two other carbon atoms. So there's some sense here. One is primary, two is secondary, then three, if it's bonded to three carbons, it's tertiary. If it's bonded to four, it's quaternary. So propane, oops, I can't, I can't point on that part. That makes me crazy. Okay, here's propane. The middle carbon is bonded to two other carbons, and so it is secondary, but the ones on the ends are primary. When you're dealing with an alkane, only single bonds, the primary carbons will always have three hydrogens, the secondaries will have two, the tertiaries will have one, and the quaternaries will have no hydrogens bonded to them. So in this bottom example, we have this carbon is bonded to four other carbon atoms. It's got its four bonds with carbons, and it doesn't have any hydrogens. Any questions about that? And we'll be using this, this uh, system of classification throughout the course. Um, so examples. We need to do some examples. Um, so here's something I just made up. So let's look at a couple of different carbons. Let's look at this one, and this one, and this one, and that one. Okay, this guy on the end, primary, secondary, tertiary, or quaternary? Primary. It's bonded to one other. That's a primary. How about this guy? Quaternary. There's one. Two, three, four. So four, the degree symbol. What about this guy? Three. Tertiary. Tertiary, bonded to three carbons. And that guy? Secondary. Secondary. Okay, so this is one of those things where it's kind of nice if it's bonded to two carbons. It's two with a degree symbol. If it's bonded to three, it's three. Do you need, do you need some more examples, or are you good on that? Okay. You're good? Why is that last one just bonded? Oh, I see the hand. And the yeah, it's got this guy on the end, and there's the one we're looking at, and then there's this guy. Yeah. yeah. It, 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 it's kind of an acquired skill to look at these line angles. It's a little bit, you know, the, maybe the guys can relate to this. You look at the, the football play diagrams, and they get the X's and the O's and the letters and stuff. And I look at that, and I'm like, what on earth? But other guys look at that scribbled, and they're, they know exactly what's going to go on. Are they, you know, they privy to some secret knowledge? No, they've just looked at it enough that they can see it. And that's how this is. It's just being able to look at it and see what the patterns are.